Another amazing find. Walking with biblical texts at hand, this is bi bi biblical archaeology in Israel, they'll always find something when they're locating these uh, exact uh, places. Now, an ancient treasure map pinpointing location of 165 tons of gold. Bible followers were thrilled by the discovery of an ancient manuscript which is said to be a treasure map and it pinpoints to the location of what they believe is 165 tons of gold. Dead Sea Scrolls are a set of ancient Jewish religious texts that were found in the Qumran caves of the Judean desert about 2000 years old and these documents are of great historical, religious and linguistic significance because they include the second oldest known accounts of the Bible, but one of them could be even more valuable. And now a couple of days ago, I posted a video concerning the Book of Giants, the scroll that was found in the Dead Sea Scrolls of Qumran Caves in the Judean Desert. But this one talks about a treasure map. The Copper Scroll differs significantly from the others. It's not a literary work, but a list of 64 places where various items of gold and silver were buried or hidden. Shelley Nice, the author of The Copper Scroll Project, uh, revealed why it, it has fascinated her for years. She said the Copper Scroll is rare in that it was found by an archaeological team sponsored by the Jordanian Department of Antiquities. So it was not found by roving Bedouins like the Dead Sea Scrolls were found. After those first Dead Sea Scrolls were proven authentic, it was a hunt for who could find them the quickest. The Bedouins usually won that race, and in the Dead Sea area, caves pocket the land. Kindly support my Patreon account since YouTube has again demonetized my YouTube channel. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support, and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. Now, with a lot of them, the entrances have collapsed during antiquity, and they're very hard to see just by the scanning, by scanning uh, our eyes over these areas. Miss Nice went on to reveal how experts uncovered the document in the very last moments of their excavation. She said they were able to find this cave and they were inside, they went inside and were disappointed as there were 40 Dead Sea Scroll jars in Cave 3, but the ceiling of the cave had collapsed. Almost every scroll, scroll was in was disintegrated state but on the very last day, they came across what looks like a false wall. It was a limestone wall, and they chipped through it and found two copper scrolls resting on a man-made shelf. After 2,000 years, copper did what copper does, and it was left green and brittle. And the researchers went on to speculate just how valuable the scroll could be. She continued, in 2009, the copper scroll is written out in 12 columns. It's a verbal treasure map over 60 plus locations. There is a certain style it's written in and it's a dry inventory. With all of the 60 locations, it tells you where to go, how deep to dig, and what you'll find. The amount referred to in terms of buried treasure would be the equivalent of 168 tons of gold today. The items listed in the scroll are assumed to be the treasures of the Jewish temple, presumably the second temple. As we know that, uh, okay, uh, there were certain inventory items that were taken from the second temple. Uh, we know that at, at the time of the Romans that was, was destroyed, the first temple was destroyed during the uh, uh, the uh, Babylon capture, captivity. The second temple was destroyed basically by the Romans in 70 AD. So somebody obviously took the gold from the temple and hid it in these areas, 
in the Qumran caves. Now scholars are divided as to what the actual contents are, but metals such as copper and bronze were a common material for archival records. As a result, this evidence has led a number of people to believe that the treasure really does exist. One such person was John Allegro, who in 1962 led an expedition, and by following some of the places listed on the scroll, the team excavated some potentially burial places for the treasure, but they left empty-handed. So it seems that somebody already knew where some of these treasure, uh, uh, this very valuable treasure of the temple gold was. This is by Express UK Callum Hoare. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support.